parked around the corner. I can offer you a lift. There's no need. What's the matter? Are you afraid you wait me along the way? As a matter of fact, someone normally picks me up in the morning. I see a boyfriend. No, not the boy. Tell me, uh, you live around here? Just around the corner. I see. And where do you work? <laughs> Why don't you get the questionnaire and ask me to fill it up today? Good idea. Question number three. Where do you work? Hello. Your name is Jessica, and that's all you need to know. concern of yours. Now you go and do what you have to do. I will do what I have to do, right? I'm going to ask you a question. Don't take on. See you later. Why you can't open this door? Excuse me, ladies. I don't excuse you. 
too long time. I don't know why you don't excuse your husband and let you go the way you are for go. See, that's that already. And for the most, I would know myself conversating with you. Yeah. 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 Woman, for me, the car, no. <laughs> you know damn well it's not that talking about, man. I mean, what do you do when you're feeling lonely? I told you, man, I read a book. What kind of book? Sheldon, Uris. You know, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. At one time, I thought you were to tell me the Holy Bible. <laughs> Sometimes that too. You don't have to tell me the passage. I know it. Thou shalt not commit adultery. You know that? Every art knows that, Mike. You know, Mike, how you, what was it, you here in Guyana, Jenny, till in America, then you sit up here with me cool and calm, just drinking. No problem at all, man. No problem? Mike, let me tell you, my eye would have been like a raging bull. <laughs> I don't see the difference, now. I mean, you don't feel like, like, like trying something now and again? Why? You don't feel like it? No. Jesus, Mike, something wrong with you. Go and check out the doctor. I love Jenny. Okay. I know this, man, but it's almost six months, Mike. That's not so long. Okay, you good, boy. You really good, Jenny. Yeah. But, you know... I believe that you're trying something on the outside and you're hiding it from me. But one of these good days, I'm going to catch you up and I'm going to open your You'll never catch up with me, Chad. Why? Because you're skillful? <laughs> Nothing to be skillful about. So how come I never catch you? I never catch you either. Because you know everything. Because you told me everything. So why can't you tell me, Chad? That's all right, Mr. Diplomat. <laughs> yeah. I'm going to catch you up. And I tell you, I'm going to open your file. If you do that, I'll give you a bottle of Johnny Walker Black. Get ready to pay up. Pay up on receipt of evidence. What do you want me to do? I want take photographs. I want you to take my pants and my shorts and keep them where you find it. Hello, <laughs> <laughs> good evening. Dark and lovely. Interesting girl named Jessie today. This morning, actually. You met Jessie? Yeah. You know her? Describe her. Nice. Brown skin. Let me see. No more than five, six. Nice legs. Nice lips. She speaks well. So what does she look like? You know I ain't in the fashion. Colors, was she wearing a black skirt and cream shirt? Yes. That's just you, all right? This. Mike, stop mumbling and share this secret with me. Who and what is Jessie all about? Jessica Van Lang, she works for the company. You mean to tell me that you got a sweet chick like Jessie working with you and you didn't tell me? You're slipping up, Mike. She's a new translator we hired for the Venice Connection. Translator? Yes, good one too. She looks pretty young. Uh, she's about 25. That's a young chap to be a translator. I suppose so. <laughs> Mike, which has he living? George. Michael like the woman, man. Leave her alone. She's not your type. Look, man, let me decide that, right? Jesse is decent, George. 
decent women. Suit yourself. So what's so special about Jessie anyway? Well, she's innocent. Sort of. <laughs> Innocence at 25 in, in this 20th century? <laughs> My go and see a doctor, boy. <laughs> She's an adult, and you're an adult, right? It's up to the two of you. But you're not getting any information about her from me. You know, I thought you were my friend. Yet. Or is it that you like the woman? But because you're so devoted to Jenny, you're afraid to make a move. Look, I have to go pick up my son from his grandma. That is you, Mike, always. Run away from crutch. What I refuse is left for you. I don't care what you say. I am going to take Jessica. Have fun. Screw you, Mike. Lord, woman, you nice you only with your fandangles. Look and bring back your books. Put them down there. You finish with me on? Not yet. But we just have to do so when the day come. Listen, I the lady just got to take off my little sleep. Whole day? Now, nah, only when I got blackout and I can't watch TV. No one is spreading like a blanket. Listen, I is a woman with good condition. I ain't spreading. I pull it out. So I call it what you will. You know, Nola, sometimes I believe you're just jealous. Mm -hmm. Me? A big old woman like me? You know what I say? Look, if this joke you can't tell, tell me so I wouldn't come back here anymore. No and furthermore, I gone. Oh, no, 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 you're getting so touch a smile. It's only joke I'm making with you. Oh, skin teeth and laugh. Hmm. Come on, tell me, what's the predicts of the big house? Nothing much, the God guess. Oh, so it's more work for you, no? No, man, your lady's a quiet old soul. She's no problem at all. So what about the mistress? Everything normal. Everything normal? I didn't see you here tell me what the mistress of the scene at the market the other day. I mean, he could say, he know me long now, you know. So he ain't said nothing? All he said, next time I want to behave like a virago, make sure he in there own. But he know that if he and I get me back, he just get it, no matter who they're own. So that was only talk. Well, he had possessed something. She was a peppy, good when they go home. She must not even tell you a word. You're right, like, oh, she's a good sheep. I got plans for both of them, you see. Before this year out, she gone but your business, and I name Mrs. Mabel Smith. What, Mabel? You believe the man gonna marry you with all them lawless behavior you just talking about? Yeah, lawless behavior you talking about? Besides, one or two views, you know, when people take the eyes and pass me, I is a decent law abiding citizen. So, who you talking about lawless? I never say you're lawless. I did just say that you behave like you You ever see me drinking and drunk, or smoking a cigarette, or walking with a negligee down Lambert Street? That is lawlessness. So, don't take your blasted eyes past me, no, no. Uh -uh. You quick to abuse people like you got turkey blood or something. Listen, I is a young, strong, highly sexed woman. My blood's supposed to have. Look, me, the line able with you. Let me hustle and go to the people who walk here. Yeah? All right, then. Hold on, leave it now. God, these things fail. Thanks. It's little things for the children. All right, then. You're not grateful for anything. All right. Check me out later. All right. right. Come, let's read the unity prayer for today. This might brighten your day. Ah, you see how God is with? The word for today is peace. Let's read together. Though I may occasionally meet with seeming confusion or discord in my life, I remain at ease. The peace of God from the old and the old man in the middle. 5170. Nasty bitch, yo. Why you don't move out and let the man alone? He don't want you. He only sorry for you. But if you had the decency, you want to move out and go. Yeah. 
people is that they think they make problems and they make themselves. But what a frenzy has in Jesus. All our griefs and sins today. What a privilege to carry everything to God and bring something to Him. Christina? No. This is her mother, Mary. Well, you could tell the doctor you're such a lefty man alone. You know what? You need prayers to exercise the demon inside of you. She better pray for your doctor because all of them gonna need it. What a friend they have in Jesus. Oh. It was dinner. I don't have dinner either. You don't have dinner? But strange men. Oh, come on, Jesse. I'm not a strange man. We're living in the 20th century. Mm. Yesterday. You know my name yesterday. I don't even know yours. My name is George, and you are wrong. I know that you're Jessica Van Lang. You work for Michael Reed. You're 25 years old, you're a translator, and also, you are very precious. You've been minding my business. But look, two, two, fine, just go right ahead. Jesse? Bow Diablo! Bow al Diablo? I don't know why I've got this feeling she is insulting me. Thank you. 
dear daughter to thee. She is filled with despair, Lord. Her husband has gone astray. Help her to keep her faith, Lord, and help her to be faithful. Lord, turn apart and get us away from her husband and lead him back to the strength now, Lord. When I saw your face, I was mesmerized. I never thought I'd like what I saw in your eyes. But you know time tells after you wove all your spells. I'm glad that I saw your face. First time. Thanks for the lift, second one. I'm well aware of that, Jessica. Well, thanks once again. I will not consider this job complete until I see you safe and sound in that house. I can get by myself, thank you. Look, I know this, but I promised Mike that I'll see you safely home. Look, Look Jesse, behave your age. I'm not about to savage you. Who said anything about savage? So, what is your problem? It's just that I don't like people inviting themselves to my home that far. You don't have to be so insulting. I'm only offering you a human service. But if you so bluntly refuse, there is nothing I can do. Look, it's just that when I get to ask a long I want to be quiet, to be alone for a while, that's all. I know all about you. Don't forget at work. You know, Jesse. But it will be a waste of time standing here in the dew arguing all night. See what I mean? I guess you're right. Ooh, that's fine, Jesse. Oh, Jesse. You never told me what Ba al Diabello means. What's your parting shot about two weeks ago? Oh, Bal Diablo! <laughs> you make it sound like Krillius. <laughs> no, I'm not an English, right? Now, what does it mean? Go to hell. Jesse. But that's what it means. Ba means evil. Al means soon Diablo means devil. You don't pull any punches, do you? You ask me. Well, thank you. Good night. Good night. Bal Diablo. I asked a rabbit. Eat two, senor. You might want to work on it tonight, Jesse. That's why I brought it. At least you can do the same. Thanks. Thanks. George, don't go. What's the matter, Jesse? Please. Thank God.
you can do the same thing in the chest. Go. Sit down. There's no sign of breakage. They must have used a skeleton key or something. Where's the telephone? You've got to call the police. I don't have a phone. You don't have a phone? No, I don't have a phone. I've applied for one so long. I don't have a phone. What the hell would I do with a phone anyway? They steal every damn thing I have. Okay, Jesse, just calm down. Calm down? I come home to find my radio gone, my tape deck gone, my iron gone, all the fucking parts from the stove gone. And you tell me to calm down? Jesse, please. Cool it, I'd like to find a fucker who did this and burn his fucking fingers to bomb. Jesse, we've got to get the police. What will the police do? Come in here and take fingerprints to say that they're sorry and I should be more careful. That's what I've been all my life. Bloody careful. Jesse, you have to remember life is like that. No, George. Life is not like this. People are like this. Life didn't come in here and steal my things. People did. Okay, Jesse, you win. Now, can I get you something to drink? Some coffee or something? They stole the fucking stove. Jesse, would you please stop cursing? Sorry. I'm not like this normally. It's just that I come out to find all my things gone. And I can't put a thing about it. Okay. Oh, there's no telephone. We still have some things to get done. One, call the police. Two, get something for you to drink. My car's parked outside. I can spin around and have this, these things done in 15 minutes. Thanks, George. Will you be okay until I get back, or do you want to come with me? I'll be fine. They've taken everything. You can come here again. No, Jess. They haven't taken everything. They've forgotten the most valuable, most precious thing. And they might very well come back for you. George will call the police. Okay. I'll be back as fast as possible. Now, cheer up. How do you say that in Spanish? I'll see you in the sun, sir. Right. We will return to Jezebel the movie in a moment. We will. Come in, George, you guys. Mm. George, I just found out what happened to you. Uh -uh. Isn't now you're coming from work, George? Yes, Nivelle, I was working on a project I hadn't completed yet. Just came along to tell you uh, we'll have to call off tonight. Oh, but George, look at my dress up now for going to take off my clothes. You can see what you want. I can't take you out tonight. At least you should recognize the common courtesy it takes for me to come all the way here just to tell you that. Oh, George, what about me? Sitting down all day thinking about how we can spend tonight. You know, you know why I should do? I should just sit in my office, continue working on my project, and leave you dressed up like this, sitting down waiting for me all night. You know, you couldn't try that with me, Mr. George. You know, I would have moved a few offers so fast it would have been a lot. Like you forget the last kicking up you get from me was for one huh? That was then, because I was young and inexperienced. But you try to be now, not Mr. George. Look, lady, I got pressing matters to attend to. But let me leave you with a parking shot, and you better get this straight. I is your man, not the other way around. Anybody come checking on anybody, if I come checking on you, right? Any deviation, any deviation at all, is blows to God. Look, shut up and go inside the house. Good night.
a better woman than you. I could cook more better than you. Well, uh, I got us some food. Got chicken and milkshake. At least there's something to munch. I don't think I can eat anything, George. Well, at least just please try to drink something. Okay, I'll have some milkshake. Say that in French. Merci. Merci. No. Merci. As if you're saying mere. Merci. Look, my mouth wasn't made to sing such things. Please, the lady smiling again. I guess a good night rest will put me in better shape in the morning. But I, I am not going to let you stay here tonight. Why not? Jesse, don't let It's not safe. No one would come here again. You can never tell. Isn't there anywhere you can stay inside here? No. Only by Mr. Reed. Mike? Yes, You and Mike have something together? No, George. Mike is married to a very decent woman. Don't give me that. George, I don't deal with married men. Never? Never. You see, a woman broke up our home, and I've never been the same again. My father went one way, and my mother and I another. I've never forgiven my father at home. That's it. Sad. I'm not going to let you stay in here tonight alone. I'll, I'll sit at the door and keep watch. <laughs> George, you don't have to be afraid. That is not necessary. Why? It is. You don't want Mike to kill me if anything happens to you. Come on, what about your family? Your wife? Would they worry? No. I stopped by to say I'll be staying here with you tonight. And she doesn't mind? She? She? Whoever? My sister expects one to do these things from time to time. Your sister? You mean to say you live with your sister this day and age? So, what happened to that? Her husband left her. My fiance jilted me a few years. Uh, we support each other. A woman jilted you? I like you a lot. I like you too. <laughs> a little that is. It's a good note to say good night on, don't you think so? Yes, I guess so. We stand and talk all night. Oh, yes, and I have to take up my post at the door. Can't say I treat my guests badly. Jesse, at least uh, you you can be more hospitable and offer me a space in your bed. Look, maybe don't say that. If you're a woman, don't hang up this phone. It's information for you. 
all towards the divorce. What's divorce? What you going to give George? You know me and George going tonight? You think you could get? We going to the club. When last George carry you anyway? That's right, Zeno. Got you where you want you. Got you where you got no choice but to get out. George? Oh, it was an improvement from the Corellian beef you all cooked the other night. Glad you like it. Like you're going out, George? Oh, yes, Zina, I'm going out. Don't you think you should stay home once in a while? Zina, it's business. Now, if I stay home, I can't afford to run this house. But you could take her with you sometimes. Take you? Why not? I'm not ready, no? Good, Zina. For God's sake, be going in bed. Not tonight. Is your mother putting you up to these things, huh? My mother? If I were with my mother, I would pray my life away and let you and your confederates carry on in merry fashion. No, George. Mommy didn't put me up for this. I've come to terms with myself. I'm glad to know. I want to talk to you, George. When I come back. I want to talk to you, George. I say when I come back. I'm divorcing you, George. What? I said it. Either things change when I'm divorcing you. Who do you, do you need a doctor? You need either a husband or a lawyer. Take your pick. Tina Zinu, what is this all about now? This is about you minding me in this house like a pet. About you ridiculing me to your women. About your women calling me up and insulting me. Look, look, Zina, I had no idea all this used to be going on. I'm telling you no. Either things change or I'm leaving. Well, you can't. You're my wife. Wife? Don't make mock. Well, Zina, you are. So who are you taking this out of tonight? Mike. Mike? You and Mike going to Zanadu? You're going to men now. Look, Zina, look. Zina, what has gotten into your head? Watch me in my face and tell me that you and that stinking bitch Mabel not going to Zanadu tonight. Mabel? Mabel, Mabel, Mabel. You're deaf? Mabel. I, I don't even know the last time I see you. I know. I, yes, because you're a CID agent. That woman I passed you so far that she herself calls you. Mabel calls you? Yes. Every day, you must have a hell of a phone built to pay. Hey, look, whatever the two of you discuss on the phone is up to you, right? But I gotta be going. I'm coming with you, George. Zina, you can't come. I'm coming with you, George. Zina, it's business. It's not your cup of tea. Oh, I must learn to like what my husband likes. You can't come. I'm coming with you. You can't, and that is final. I can't come. You're not going anywhere. of Mr. George Smith. May I speak with him, please? No, ma'am. Look, stop asking questions and say what you want. Uh, could you ask him to call Jesse and Jesse? 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 Van Lang, he knows who it is. I'm sure. What's your number, Jesse? Yes, I see. Miss Van Lang or Mrs.? Miss. Yes. Well, thank you. Bye. Then this is a new one. Zero, you plastic, fortune, though. 
you stay home with me tonight. Sino? Yes. Open this door. No. You're not opening this door. You're not opening this door. You locking me up in the bathroom. Eh? You locking me up in the bathroom. You deserve to be locked in prison. Who are you talking to? You. You talking to me? You touch me tonight, George. You touch find me out. tonight. Tonight is the night of reckoning. Tomorrow the voice paper is filed. You are Mrs. George Smith, and you belong to me. And you will not leave me until I give you permission to you understand. And still when I come in this house, I want to find you here. Right. George Smith? I never thought I would live to see the day you are handling my daughter in this house. When did they come? And they got enough more days to come, so you could pull up your head with a lot of things to tell me. Me? Yes, you, you pious old bitch. Poor innocent me. Lord, give me faith. Give you faith? Give you faith? He should give you a blasted heart attack. All like you need a second baptizing. You wicked to the veins. Hey, look, I got to be going, right? Excuse me. The Lord will soon send salvation. I can't think any more of this. He treats me like this and still he won't let me go. Zena, George loves you. With all his evil ways, he loves you. It's just shame that Daffy tries to talk to him is like fan and flame. Patience, child, patience. Mine run out. Always remember, Zena, the race is not for the swift, but for those with patience who can endure the distance and the sacrifice and the pain. If anybody had told me that my life would be like this, I'd never believe it. You got to watch and pray, child. Watch and pray. I said a pray. Oh, don't say that. But it's true. The Lord never gives you more than you can bear, Zena. Well, I decided after tonight, I am here in the moon. When I come back, let me find you in this house, right? Well, well. You see? You see I pass? Well, not tonight. Not to every night. See ya! with your woman now. Look, I'm tired to you. Man, I want to dance, man. Well, dance now. I can't forget somebody for dance to it. Mind the change your session, all right? Thanks, Mike. You're a gentle mom. Don't worry, Georgie boy. You know me, I would never hassle you. You're my number one and only. I have to be. He can't see to them, Mike. Tell him me. Check how many mirrors you have around his office alone. How much? Mm. How many? About 12. Oh, Jesus, he beat me up by two. <laughs> I think, Josh, you might not let me get to your head. But you can let my beauty get to your head, right, George? But only mine, right, Mike? Right. I want peace. Look, go down quick here before you embarrass yourself. It's all them beers. Y'all excuse me. George, what is it? Nothing. That's a big problem, right? No. Sorry I had to come and get you at the last minute. That's what friends are for. Yeah. Uh, what is it, George? What? It's Zena, isn't it? Yes. Yeah. She 
that finally? What do you mean finally? I just wondered how much you would take, that's all. Well, you are another one. Putting her up to leave me. Come, friend. Don't get that, George. The last. So, if Zina leaves me, you will agree? Yes. Thanks, friend. Can't I be honest? Well, I have news for you, man. I'm not letting her go. So you're letting Mabel go? Neither. Why must you have them both? Because I can afford it, Mike. You can't, you know. You're not being fair to either of them. I provide for them. They get what they want. You know, I could never understand this side of you. You're the only man I know who, who talks like that. Not a fault. Sometimes I feel that you won't steam your food. Okay, Mike. We're still joking. Another way, brother. She must be probably joined some long nine days. You know, this place is. Talk about the devil. Hi. Y'all miss me? Like toilet miss a flush. Oh, George, you can't think of something more romantic. All right. Like lizard love a tree. Oh, God, George, you the real don't you know? Like bean love honey. <laughs> but I can't believe my eyes. Well, I want to bring back in hair. Oh, Christ, George. I just come from the time. Go get him. No, 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 no. left her a few years ago and my fiance jilted me so, so we support each other a woman jilted you 
Yes. I don't believe it. Why? Well, you seem so accomplished. Swart, if I may say so. Well, it wasn't like that all the time. At that time, I was just a struggling little carpenter apprentice. She saw a bigger fish, that's all. Poor George. <laughs> yeah. I missed her for about 10 years. But now I'm, I'm totally over her. Except... Uh, Never mind. Come on, George, you can tell me. Except, you remind me so much of her. It hurts to look at you. Uh-oh. But it's nice to, you know, makes me feel that I'm back in time and I'm with Monique once again. Just remember I'm Jessica, okay? No problem remembering that. Especially when you remind me with your French and your Spanish and God knows whatever gibberish. The problem with Monique, she only spoke English and badly. Poor girl. Nothing poor about Monique now or then. She is a very dangerous female. Every female is dangerous, potentially that is. In fact, everyone is dangerous then. Hurt or corner, they react like wounded animals. Well, Monique was the worst of the wounded animals. Don't talk about the girl like that. There you are. I see your friends even before you meet. Just as in life, you have to do certain things. And she had to break my heart? But you didn't die. That's not the point, Jessie. You would have died if your heart was broken. Find some time for me. Maybe. Uh, sounds exciting. Whatever. I mean, not frightening, but exciting. <laughs> Jezebel the movie will return in a moment. But he's destroying you. He's made you change. Right, yes. Look, the child obviously doesn't know what she's let herself in for. Oh, she doesn't know. 
I suppose you tell me Mabel doesn't know either. Mabel is a different kettle of fish altogether. She's one stink fish if you ask me. All goes home. After George's money and prestige. I think you should think of telling Jessie what is what the next time she calls. That's a good idea. Look, Zina. The next time she calls, tell her the truth. You can't keep lying saying George is not here, George is not here. Tell her the truth before it's too late. I wonder what she looks like. She sounds tall. Maybe she has a very good body. Men like women with good bodies. Look, we all prefer to be around attractive people. It doesn't go for men alone. I wonder why you're always pick, picking up for George. No one he called a pious old bitch the other day. Well, there's a lot of worse things he could say. You're so forgiving. Zena, by the time life is finished with you, it's either you're forgiving and full of patience or spiteful and full of vengeance. I've decided a long time ago that no human being is going to come between me and my God. Vengeance is his. I wish I could be like you. All I could do, child, is to tell you to have faith in the Lord and pray. What the Lord has put together, let no man put I wonder if it's worth it. It's worth it, child, once you love him. But he doesn't love me. How do you know that? Has he ever told you so? Not in words. Well, how do you know that? Well, everything that he does. Look, that doesn't say a thing. All he feels to me is guilt. Every time he looks at me, he remembers what happened to me the baby. That's all. Look, Zena, you're always blaming things on George. How could he be responsible for you falling down the stairs? Falling down the stairs? Who told you I fell down any stairs? But he wrote me in London, son of a bitch. Zena, that's what he told me. But I fell down the stairs. Didn't he tell you that he had sister who gave out of me to speak? Didn't he? What? You know, you know well I don't eat the lander. And you went up to this house. How many times am I said you're not to cook the land in this house? You don't understand? Don't ask me to my job. I'm pregnant without you. So if that you pregnant, you feel that you can do what you like in this house and get away with it? Eh? Look, go look something for me. Look! You feel a man? You want a man and you need me, huh? Eh? George took it. He took all my children with one kick. And I've stayed with him. I've given George my youth, my love, and my womb. And he can only take. It seems George knows nothing about giving. This is your cross, Zena. I try to bear it with dignity. But sometimes I drop so low. So low. Low enough to confront that Mabel. Oh, some devil flew up in you that night. It was one of us dying that night. One of us dead. But something said, leave them. Every rope got me. Right? Submit yourself unto your own husband as unto the Lord. For the husband is the head of the wife, even as Christ is the head of the church. What do you mean you understand, Mommy? You're still on that. I want to know. Oh, you know. You know what? Look, you know what you can't bear to accept. Accept what? That after everything, you still love George. Mommy, please. Look, Zena, if you didn't love George, you wouldn't care about what time he came in and went out. I don't. You didn't sleep last night. I couldn't. You waited up to see what time he'll be home. Yes, yes, so what? He's my husband. Lord be praised. A great discovery. Besides you, he's all I've got. You've got to understand. <laughs> I understand fully well, Billy. I just wish that Mabel and Jesse and God knows who else would disappear and George and I would live happy together. It's weird. It's small. I like it. I can get you a big one. I can get myself a bigger one, but it wouldn't fit. Maybe you need a bigger apartment. This one is so cute. Hmm? 
couldn't make it, man. Boys give it some stuff. I had a fever when I came to so I had to take it back to the lab. Glad you could make it. Boy, it's nothing serious for Jimmy. Boy, he plays in the rain too much. Boys will be boys, man. Stupid boys will be dead boys. That too. So, what's the problem? Do you have to be so drunk? I'm sorry, I thought to mess it. George, I'm not jealous of you at all. As a matter of fact, I feel rather sorry for you. Thanks for your sympathy, friend. Have a drink. Go to hell. Bad Diablo, Mike! Good to see you. Good to see you too. How was your day? Normal. The just on my driving off. Yeah, we had a few things to discuss. Why didn't he stay for a drink? Well, Jimmy is having a fever and Mike is quite upset. Poor Mike, he must miss Jen a lot. He really does. Jen and I went to primary school together, you know. She was a few classes ahead of me. I didn't know. Lots about me you don't know. That's true. And then, I intend to find out. Sounds good. Might even feel better. Yeah, you're a fiend, you know that, George? <laughs> I might have suspected. <laughs> but I do like you a lot. Check him. For once you got that correct. For once my pronunciation meets your standard. <laughs> Do I get a kiss for encouragement? With all these people watching? What is it you 
that high. On your red face. Oh yes. I forgot you blush. Jessica Onivana, I, George Herbert Smith, do hereby declare that I love you. <laughs> you know, you can be so funny and charming at times. It's a wonder some other woman hasn't grabbed you before. Well, maybe they tried, but they didn't make it. George, I'm so glad to have you. <laughs> what kind of rass is this? George? Hidel. George, you know her? Um, I can't explain this. Look, you, George Smithes. You's a real man, whore. I pass an outside city cab thinking you're gonna need some company only to come in here and find you and a woman kissing up like two teenagers in public. Well, I tell you, George knows this lady. If he know me, he know me now. I found a passion for six donkey years. Maybe that is enough. Oh, you don't want a lady to know your dirty story. Tell her where I got a mole. George, is this true? Look, look, Jesse. Jesse, I can explain this. It, oh. it was a long time ago. Oh, so this is the Jesse Van Lange been here in Pocahontas. Yeah. Well, at long last, I get the city lady. Not bad, George, why? Jesse! Jesse! Yes! Jesse gone, George. You left to me now. You embarrass me in public, maybe the last time. Lady Judgment, they far from now. 
The Lord will punish you, George, for all those lies you're telling and all the tears being shed over you. You know what is your problem? Hmm? You know what is your problem? You need a little old man. My man is the Lord. I only hope that he performs well. Look, I couldn't ask for better. But mark my words, George. Change your evil ways. <laughs> Repent. Repent. Turn away from your wicked ways. Be baptized and be saved. It's not that you're ignorant. The only way I could be born again is if I come back as a stallion. <laughs> I hope for your sake, George, this merry mood lasts forever. You know what I want you to do for me, Mother Mary? I want you to pray for me. I do that every day, son. Morning, noon, and night. Baby, Mary, Mary, for not the time. Well, you ought to grab. George. What is this new thing you pick up with, huh? What are you talking about? All these women, George. What is it you're searching for? Now, if you know that I'm searching, could you please tell me what I'm searching for? For more, I would prefer you to mind your own damn business. No, I can't help minding my own business any more than I am, George. It's my daughter's life involved. Your daughter's not yours? Zena is my only child, and you're destroying her. And then you should make more children. You're a beast, George. A real beast. A beast. A cast out of heaven. This, this sounds like a benediction. Look, I don't see you, Mother Mary. The Lord be with you, George. And also with you. Good morning. Oh, good morning. I would like to speak to one Miss Jessica Van Nuyen. Oh. I'm afraid she's not in. She's not in? No. But it's strange. I called here not five minutes ago. Spoke to one of the girls. They told me that she is here. Oh, where are you not time? She left. She's not around. She's funny. But I can, I, can, I can be sure that Jessie is in there. You, you don't want me to barge in there and find her. Young man, I suggest that you leave that young lady alone and stop molesting who her. Who are you to tell me that? Don't you know who I am? You know who I am? I am not concerned with who you are. I would like you to leave right now before I call the Look, doctor. I want to speak to my grief. Listen, young man, I you I want to speak, speak to my... Oh, God, God! We will return. I'm not going to speak to you for almost one week. I'm not going to even speak to your life. You think you're like that? You lied to me to us unforgivable. You never allow me to explain. You can do this. Please leave. I've been going here as I like. Let me hear my way. Where the hell were you all those times I came and called? Out. Out where? That's my business. Look, you're my woman and I want to know. I am my own woman, not yours, not anybody. You can, you can speak a few languages and you earn a few dollars. But let me tell you something. You're just like any other woman. I know just another puss. But at least I'm not going to waste my juice on the likeness of you, George Smith. You've got a lot of big talk, eh? I'm not afraid of you. Look, I break you like a twig little girl. Why? Because you can't bear to be left by a woman. Am I making history, George? Am I the first woman to leave you? You will not. Leave me. I already have. I said you're not. And you will take every word you said to me tonight, you little English. Wait! Don't speak to me in French. Vichel Tesla. Jesse! Vichel Tesla. Blasted little English. All the things I bought you, the television, the, the telephone, the, the refrigerator. Wait a the... minute, George. I never asked you for a single thing. You were the one who warned me in here to an out of consideration. I didn't know you were a Catholic in horror. Shut up. <laughs> Why are you afraid of this little 
Jordan to run in it. Yes. Josh, let go of me. Jesse, Jesse, I'm sorry about everything. Go. Go now. Jesse. Jesse, I don't want to lose you. You already have. Jesse, please. George, go. Forgive me, Jesse. You're forgiven now. Go. Do you mean this, Jesse? Yes, George. You're a hard woman. Hard than you know. George has AIDS. AIDS? George? See the point I'm making? Yes, but 
I don't see how that can stop George running around. He would have no choice, would he, if he knows he has AIDS? You don't know George yet. He would say that he has a short time to live, so he might as well die happy. Well, that could be fixed. No one can fix George once he's ready to plunder. Like, like I said before, no one, but maybe a few persons can. I know how hard it is for you to try and get some sleep with a little one growing in your belly. Try not to get upset. Okay? I'm not upset. You toss and turn all night in your sleep. And you go to the toilet four and five times in the night. Jeez. I don't know what's the problem with me. I think you should see a doctor. No, nothing serious. I think it's gonna pass. Probably it's the water. Such as that. Look. If it's going to make you happy, I'll go see the doctor first thing in the morning, okay? Good. And you can check with my friend Jackie. She's got diagnosing. You're taking good care of me. Yes. You don't want daddy to kick the bucket? No, that would spoil everything, wouldn't it? Sure. Would you rest assured that Papa George is going to be around for a very long time? That's good. Just, I think it's time you come to bed. You go ahead, I'll join you. Mm -hmm. You will come now. Right now. So quiet tonight. Just thinking. Thinking about what? Nothing in particular. Told my sister about the baby, you know. What did she say? She wants us to get married. And what did you say? Well, as soon as I get a few business things fixed. Yes, George. Do you want to get married? Eventualmente. Um, what does eventualmente mean? Eventually, silly. When exactly is eventually? Sometime in the future. Good idea. Actually, it's a very, very good idea. Jeffy. We, oui, Monsieur. What would we name the baby? I don't know. You the one who knows languages. I thought you would come up with some unusual name. I thought you'd have wanted to name George after you. Mm, yes. George something Smith. Then suppose it's a girl. It's a boy. How do you know it's a boy? I just know. Excuse me. When I come back, you will tell me how you know it's a boy. Uh, hello, Jackie, this is Jessica. Sorry to bother you. Here, remember the guy I told you about? George? Yes, Smith. Ah, uh, I want you to... <laughs> no, Jackie, I won't get you into trouble. I promise you, you owe me one, you know. As a matter of fact, more than one. 
just do this one for me. <laughs> He's going to come into your few days or even today. Uh, no, Jackie. <laughs> okay, that's going to fix you. <laughs> uh, uh, Jackie, call me and tell me when you tell me, okay? Okay, then. You go back to bed, man. You go out. better hope is like I lie in, but I get it out to the horse's mouth. It can't be true. Yeah, you still use condom? Jesus Christ, it can't be true. The man in hospital, maybe, you could go and see for yourself. Go and see he? The people associate with two of you. Well, wasn't your fella? Me, he cool off since he blocked my hand. That don't say nothing. You was the lady for letting the whole world know. That was you and not Zena, who was Mrs. George Smith. But now the story busts out to disown in the man. Lord, no, no, you know what I mean? You know what I mean? It means that the two y'all as good as Oh, God, no! But what I want to know is who gave who? If he gave you or you gave he? Got to be he, the foreign bitch. I never had a man with George. Since the English cricketer that he come down the last season. Oh, God, I forget he. Can't be he. Couldn't be he, man. Oh, y'all can't demise. Imagine me, young, sweet, torture to go and pine away and dead. Well, you could kill yourself. Kill myself? Oh, no, Lord. It's not I to send you with the people who are born, you know. No, Lord. Pray for me. I'm going to take a test. I'm going to pray for you, yes. But once George got it, you must get it, too. I used to tell the judge. I used to warn George. I said, George, if you ever give me AIDS, I ain't gonna allow it to kill you. I ain't gonna kill you myself. Maybe lefty lady pine away and dead, yeah? No. I would walk in the hospital and put a stop straight in the heart. Maybe don't do that. No, to satisfy myself. Look how much things George do me. Broke me heart. Give me blow and no give me AIDS from top. It's me whole life be throwing away and all of me whole life. I don't understand how you feel, but what I'm going to say, eh? Man, no, you shouldn't tell me, man. You shouldn't tell me. But it's not you the one or the critics from the big house. Oh, but the three, four, for dead without knowing. Man, you should have told me that before. Oh, Lord, spare me. I promise to walk the straight and narrow road. Maybe. Look, I think you had better calm down, sit down in this chair, yeah? Let me hustle to the people walk. No, no. You're not going to tell nobody. Me? You know I like that. No, no. Don't tell nobody. Look, my lips paste together, right? I gone. Missy! I 
sorry, missus. But I will have to leave for reasons beyond my circumstances. George. Mabella, I just come to see you. After all this time, I miss you. Uh -huh. Mabel, why are you behaving like this? George, tell me it's not true. Mabel. George, please, I'm begging you. Tell me it's not true. It would be some money you just come to bring for you. Oh, George, please don't do this to me. Mabel, what's the matter with you? George, the people say you got it. Maybe oh God, don't touch me, George. Maybe, maybe they can't know that for sure. No. No, George. You put poison in me, blood. I always knew it would tell you. Maybe, maybe. We will return to Jezebel the movie in a moment. Yes, that's 
that. You can feel that. I'm going now. Well, George Smith, as far as I'm concerned, you're dead and very, very buried. I was a flower who crumbled in your hands. You will remember. You will remember. Look to the left and you look to the right and you look up.